time in YouTube and welcome back to another episode of TCGO Battles. Today we are taking on my good friend Uncle Dorky and uh, he's ready for a game. We're going to be bringing Mega Altaria one more time. I know we didn't have the best luck with it last game. If you haven't watched it, I highly go and check out that last match because that was insane. That was such a good game and I do highly recommend you check it out before this one. But we are about to get into this match and I don't want to keep my friend waiting too, too much longer. So we're going to get started right now. Sending over the, uh, the, uh, the request and we are about to hopefully get into this match here we go he knows his best two out of three he is playing a psychic and colorless deck i have no idea what he's playing right now but he is getting this coin toss and he is gonna call heads and we win beautiful so we are gonna take turn one this way i can get a little bit of setup i have no basics in my hand i have none whatsoever so he gets the additional card, which is what the smiley face is for. He can kind of see what I have. He sees a lot of supporters, so nothing too, too much. But uh, that's all right. So we have to put in our hand and redraw. Uh, he's getting a second card. Apparently, the uh, game does not want me to have a basic. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> he's got a ton of cards. We have a basic, finally! Here we go. That's all we got. One basic. So he's gonna get himself three cards here from our bad mulligans. And that is unfortunately all I can do. So we see a Phantom and a Minchino. So he's definitely playing the uh, Trevenant Break. I'm gonna drop a Fairy Energy onto Altaria. Go with the item. And I am going to unfortunately have to sacrifice my ultra ball or sorry my level ball and my super rod because I'm gonna grab me a hoopa and I'm gonna say same to you to be nice uh, we are gonna play hoopa gonna grab some more cards here gonna grab another Altaria I have a mega so I'll grab another shaman and this time I'll get I have no discard support, so it'd be a better idea for me to get the Mega. Okay, we're good. So there we go. Gonna drop down that Altaria, gonna drop down the Shaman, and boom, more cards. We get a Fairy Energy. I'll save the Fairy Garden for now, but uh, unfortunately I didn't get... Oh, I already have the Spirit Link. I'm good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I am all right for the next turn. I don't need item cards, because I know that the Trevenant is going to happen. He has a Professor's Letter, which is going to net him two Psychic Energy. He's going to go for a Tyranno, draw three, and a Muscle Band on the, tr the Phantom with a Psychic Energy, and a Muscle Band onto the Michino with another Professor's Letter. This guy's got all the item cards. Unfortunately for us, we don't have a whole lot of supporters, and we're going to be item locked right now. So here's the item lock. Forest Curse, thankfully, I don't have any items right now. And I get another Shaman, which is awesome. So we're going to Mega Evolve. We're going to go with the Fairy Garden. So I have free retreat if necessary. Double Colorless Energy onto the Mega Altaria. And I'm going with the Mega Evolution. Or, sorry, the Shaman drop here. Uh, I have a Zerosic, which I'm going to hold on to for now because I'm not too, too threatened by the, the muscle bands. A Spritzy. This is looking a lot better for me. I will go for the Mist Purge, which will knock out the Trevenant. And uh, we'll claim our first prize. He has a Minchino left. Now, unfortunately, it got a little unlucky. I had a really good draw. Like, this was what my last game should have been. I had all the necessary cards, the Spirit Link, the Energy Drops. I have the next energy for my next Mega Altaria already, and I can go for a Scallop for the Spirit Link. I've got the Mega. This is how the deck should have been last game, but I had so much pressure against me that it was insane. He's going to ditch that Double Colorless Energy, which is a great play, forcing me to go for another attack. He goes for a Super Rod, and uh, he grabs those Trevenant, that Phantom and the Trevenant back. He's going to go for our turn, 
And I'm going to drop a double colorless energy down. Go for the Skyla, because I can. Spirit Link. I'm not too threatened by this thing. Actually, in fact, I can knock it out. Go for the other Mega. And unfortunately, guys, this is game number one. That was a very fast match for Uncle Dorky. Wait a minute. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attack, slip a coin. If heads... Ooh, now that is something cool. I doubted that, Chinchino, and it freaking came back and is going to take this game back. Interesting. Now, I have a Mega. I'm going to take out that s the uh, Muscle Band there. Goodbye. I'll drop the Double Colorless Energy onto the Mega Altaria in the back. And I'm going to go for that Miss Purge one more time. He gets another protection. I think this is cool. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Echoed Voice attack does 50 more damage. This Chintino is getting the coin flips. Uh, he's got all set up so he can do 50 damage. Team Flare grunts again. Drops my double colorless energy. That's not a problem. I can retreat, go into the other one. We'll see what he does here. Goes for a paint roller. Discards. Oh! He's stalling. He does 50 damage. He might take out my Mega Altarian. That's actually kind of scary. Um, I have to go for the drop. And uh, that is unfortunately my turn. Good play on my opponent's part. On my opponent's part, that Smooth Coat really saved him in the nick of time there. He goes for the Echo Voice. Does 100 damage this time. So we... Uh, we're taking a lot of damage, a lot of unnecessary damage. So we see that we have a Diancy, Variantry, Sycamore, a couple of cool cards in there, but nothing too, too important. Uh, I will go for the drop. Now I'm only gonna be able to do 100 damage and I can't go for the special, but I got it. I don't know how I got it, but I did. And I'm going for, I think I'm going for the Sycamore. I should have gotten the Fairy Energy, but still, I think we're back in this game. Okay. I was worried about that, Chinchino, because that thing could have taken us out, which is really, really bad. But these Chinchinos are here. They're here to stay. We see a Wally. -E. He's going to get another one. Here comes Chinchino. Smooth coat. If any damage is done by that attacks of our opponent, my. Oh, jeez. All right. We get an Altaria Spirit Link. Not really necessary. In fact, I'm going to go for the Ultra Ball, get rid of the Ultra, uh, the Mega Altaria and the Spirit Link, and I'm going to grab my Aromatisse. Going to evolve, and then I'm going to Sycamore, hoping to get myself a Stadium. And I do. I get a Stadium, which is great. So I can retreat, get myself out of there, just in case something bad happens. I don't want to lose it. We're going to go for that Fairy Transfer. We're going to take one of these Fairy Energies and give it to our Mega Altaria in the front. Uh, that is all done. I do not need the Battle Compressor now. I am going to go for the Mist Purge, hoping to get that good old flip. And we get it! Wait. Oh no, he got the heads. That was a weird animation, how they did that. I pretty much knew I didn't land it when, when I didn't go through. Interesting. But either way, at least the heal still went off. I got 30 HP down on the Mega Altaria in the back. Which is nice. If I can get a double colorless energy. He did not attack. Why did he not attack? We're going to uh, claim a nice prize real quick. Just take out this other Minchino really quickly and heal up my Mega Altaria in the back just a little bit more. Take out that first and we'll go for a VSC. Because right now this thing is the only thing preventing us from winning. But uh, Chinchino is definitely his MVP right now, keeping him in the game. Uh, didn't see too much of the Trevenant's line. We do see a lot of Chinchino. He's going to go for another Super Rod. Going to throw back a few more cards. He's got those Psychics and a Chinchino going back in the deck. 
we see a Tierno, so he's going to be able to draw three cards. And he throws down a Gallade EX. Which may be our next target. Answers for 50. I'm not too threatened by that. Gonna drop a Fairy Energy onto the back of Mega Altaria. Yes, it can't heal, but I have the opportunity to do stuff. We are gonna go with a VS Seeker. And I'm gonna Lysander out that Galady X. Let's get that into the active position. And we're gonna go for another Mist Purge. My front one is almost fully healed, and the back one is pretty, pretty nicely looking too. And we should be in range of taking out the Galade on the next turn. There's a Phantom. Goes for a Professor's Letter. See, two Psychic Energy. The question is, what's he gonna do? So he sets up for a Swift Lunge, which... And he goes for the Pokemon Center Lady. Nice play. But you're still not out of range of being knocked out. He did 30 damage. This is all right. I'll go into my damaged one, and I'll just retreat out. We will go for nothing. I'm all right with my, how my hand looks. I don't need to play anything. I'm going to retreat into the one that can heal us. So Miss Purge heals two of our Pokemon. Beautiful. We take out that EX, and we are going to grab the Fairy Energy and the Sycamore because the Dianthe is just not necessary. Dianthe is just not necessary as an attacker right now. He gets the Trevenant up, but unfortunately the curse does not matter unless he's in the active position. Goes for the Echoed Voice, but unfortunately I will be Lysandering for that final prize. We kept the pressure on in this game. We're going to knock out that Trevenant right now, and that'll be game number one. Alright. We've made ourselves a bit of progress. We came back. But uh, we've got game number two, and he can still take this. You'd never have to doubt it, even though those Chinchinos are definitely what saved him in that game. If he gets an item lock off before we get a chance to do anything, he's got the game. So we'll see how it works. Game number two is on the way, though. Alright guys, rematch time. Had a bit of a delay in between, so if you hear the music go a little bit where it shouldn't have been, I apologize. Had a bit of a misconception with the game in between, so had to take a few minutes for that. But he's going to get the choice of uh, going first here, and we have an Altaria lead, which is really good. We have a Shaman in the back, couple ends, got a nice hand overall. I am not playing the Shaman just yet. And we see our opponent has a Mew in the lead. Goes for the Professor's Letter. Now I don't know what the Mew's gonna do right now. Can't use my attacks. Probably for the... Oh, he can't attack. Right. Uh, we have the Spirit Link, which is a nice card for us to grab right now. I can ditch one, two. And we will grab ourselves an Altaria. No, sorry, sorry. Oh, the card I was... No, no. No, no, it's here. I want a Hoopa. I want a Hoopa. I'm already, like, the next card ahead. We're gonna drop down Hoopa. Go for those three EXs. I can go for an Altaria. I'll get another Altaria. Mm. I'll grab two Megas. I know I do this on a consistent basis, and I don't know if that's what you guys would do. Let me know. Would you guys grab two Megas, or would you just grab the one? Either way, that's what I'm going for. Dropping one Altaria down. Going for a Shaman drop. And yes, I'd like to draw a couple extra cards, because I have no energy! There we go. Asking you shall receive. Alright, we've got the energy drop. I'm not going to do anything else. I am content with how my hand looks. We're going to pass over the turn to Uncle Dorky. Who... Now, never judge a deck by its cover. Just because he's trying something new out, that does not mean that the deck does not work. He may not have all the cards uh, that some of us do. I am willing to play every single person, regardless of how good or bad a person is. Uh, but I'm not saying he's bad either, because as you can see, he's got a Trevenant Break, and I am terrified of that thing. 
Now you can easily switch out item Locus, which is an item. Uh, it's an it's an Ultra Ball. But he goes for the close encounter, or sorry, the encounter, and he grabs a Mewtwo EX. Whew. Which is a scary, scary card. We're gonna go for the Mega Altaria drop. I'm gonna have to ditch. I'm gonna Ultra Ball, ditch the Sycamore and the Fairy Energy. And I'm gonna grab myself a Spritz Seed. This way I have the ability to siphon my energies around. I'm gonna drop that right there. And I'm gonna go for the N. Double colorless. No double colorless. That hurt. That hurt. I'm slowed down now. Battle Compressor. I'm gonna get rid of some of these unnecessary supporters right now. Like the AZ. Is a Rosic in here? Yes, he is. And I can get rid of a Skyla. I can throw down the Altaria, but unfortunately, I can't attack. I have no way of attacking. I have no way to counteract right now without double colorless energy, so I am in a bad pickle. In a bad pickle. Uh, he goes for a tier note, draws three more cards. He actually did, and I did catch that quote, he did actually say thank you for the double color, uh, for the cards. Um, I guess he was a little confused, but I needed the end drop myself. Now he can go for the tree slam, but he's going for a shatter shot. Why would you go for a shatter shot? I mean, you could have gone for your tree slam, which would have done 60. Interesting. Not sure how that worked out, but I will take it. Oh. I'm going to have to Skyla. But for what? Grab an N? Yeah, let's grab the N. At least next turn I have another turn, but I am stalled out right now. There's nothing I can do. Enter. So he gets out the Chinchino, goes for a Tierno. The only thing that's going to benefit my end drop is I'll actually give him less cards. So he gets another energy onto the Trevenant. What's he go for with the Mew? Oh, right, he can't use Mew uh, Trevenant's attacks. Mew can only use basics. Gotcha. Switches into Trevenant. Goes for the Silent Fear, which is 30 damage to everything, and that is scary. We got the double kill on this energy! That's all that mattered. That is all that mattered. I can now heal everything for 30, negating this damage. Beautiful! I love that. I gotta say, saw all those counters come on and then saw them all go away. That was pretty entertaining. This Trevenant is the biggest, biggest problem. But now he's got a smooth coat. He's got a smooth coat, Chinchino, and he's gonna ditch my double colorless energy, which is a great play. And unfortunately, I got lucky last time. I should have end when I had the chance, but I didn't. Here comes a tree slam. I'm open for a double colorless energy. Wait, he didn't go for the silent fear. Huh. Well, I will have to end. I have no choice in the matter. But we do not get a double colorless energy. Which is a problem. So, I'm gonna set up a fairy energy. Sorry, that's the fairy garden. Set up a fairy energy on the Altaria, and I'm gonna Mega Evolve. Now I've got two of them set up and ready to go. Those Team Flare Grunts are really putting in the work in this game, because it's stopping me from moving. And like I said, I knew once this Trevenant break or er, once the Trevenant break came up, I'd be in a really bad trouble. And he's got two smooth coach and chinos up now. Here's an energy onto the Mewtwo. I'm in a bad position. He's really putting on the pressure, and that's not good. Goes for another 60 damage. Two more onto the Aromatisse and the Shaman. And I can't use items.
I can switch. Retreat into the fresh one. I can aromatize. Fairy transfer. And I can get rid of this Trevenant Break. Which is what really needs to happen right now. So we're going to go for that Mist Purge. Knocking that thing out. Magoo, if you guys don't... Well, you guys definitely don't know. Magoo is his cat. A very good cat. Uh, we do get the Professor Sycamore, but we're open up to the game now. Which is great, because that was a very big threat out of the way now. And I'm very thankful it's gone. I'm very thankful, because I don't like item lock. I do not like that. That is... That is a really rude way of winning the game when I can't play half of my deck because he's got cards and I don't. So he goes for the tier node, drops a, double, uh, a psychic energy down, goes for a muscle band and a paint roller to discard my fairy garden. So I'm alright with that because I'm in a decent position right now. Now he can damage change me which is a scary thing. Super rod. So I gotta play this properly. Now he's getting the whole Trevenant line back into his deck. So that thing's not gone. 30 damage. It's increased to 80. How is it increased to 80? 30 times the number of seconds. 3, 6 plus the 20. Alright. Well, we can go for a Spirit Link onto the new Altaria down there. Uh, can we Battle Compress? See what I've got left in there that I may not need. Pokemon Center Lady. Skyla. Lysander. Beautiful. And I think I might N. Because I need the double colorless energy. And I don't want to lose all these VS Seekers. And knowing I've got a Sycamore in the deck still means that I have a good opportunity to keep playing. I did not get the... Uh... I'm going to have to put the energy drop here. But I can easily transfer two of these energies from my active Altaria onto my back one. So this way I can heal and not waste all those energies. We are done. An Ultra Ball is not necessary right now. I'm going to go for the heal. Miss Purge. So we're healing off some of the damage that he's done to us. And what's nice is if he does damage change, I'll start healing myself back, and he'll still be knocked out because he's in range after the 50. So I'm not too threatened there at any way. We do see a Trevenant come online one more time. He gets that Psychic Energy onto the Mewtwo. Now this Mewtwo is scary. He can do... He goes for the damage change, just like I assumed he would. So we're at 130, he's at 50. And I get the Fairy Garden. I am going to go for the Mist Purge. This will heal me a little bit, but it'll knock out this Mewtwo. And we'll be one threat closer to being victorious. So we'll grab two cards here. A Via Seeker and a Double Colorless Energy, which means my other Octaria can finally get underway. I can switch it in. I can do what I need to do. Paint Roller discards my Stadium. That is nasty! That is just... Nasty! Team Flare Grunt discards my double colorless entry. Thank, thank you that I have another one in the back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Swift Lunge, I'm not threatened by that. 130 damage. Alright. We can knock out this Mew. We're gonna just throw that double colorless energy back onto the Mega Altaria because I have to. And I can get a third one going. Let's get rid of the Spritzy and I don't need the Shaman. The other Mega Altaria is not in here. Thank you. I ditched it early game, didn't I? Nope, it's prized. I missed looking that up. That was a bad play. Oh well. I can go for a Mist Purge. Heal off that damage. And we can at least knock out this Mew. That is no longer in the game. So we have an N. I can bring out that Gallade now, which is my main concern. Because I can get that... Deal some damage to it, heal a little bit more off, and I think we stay bulky just enough to live out this deck. Uh, he's got Trevenant up. So I do want to VS Seek into that. Lassander. There we go. I'm going to place up my Fairy Garden. I'm going to retreat into the more healthy one. 
We can't do that. Can't do that. I will give it the fairy energy though, so at least it can attack. I will Lysander out that Gallade, because that'll be the two prizes that I can take to win this game. We're gonna miss Purge, heal a little bit more, and 130 to the Gallade. We're one tack away from winning this game. Unless I he gets switched out, and then I'm in trouble. Pokemon Center Lady, I don't think that saves you. And that unfortunately is the game. So we're gonna go for the Miss Purge. Thank you so much to Uncle Dorky. He helped me out a lot because I couldn't actually get a battler for this round. Um, took me a little bit, but he gladly took on the battle. Um, again, make sure to hit that like button for him. You always want to show support. I'll leave a link to his Twitter description in the comments or er, in the description below. So make sure to check him out because he is a really good guy. And uh, you know what? He's got a lot of learning to do, but he's got a really cool deck. I forgot all about Smooth Coat. That's an amazing ability. It's just like Noivern's Echolocation, and if you guys don't know me, I love me some Echolocation. So, those are some really cool abilities. And again, uh, I'm really happy he tried out. It was a great match. He had a lot of pressure. That Trevenant Break was really something that put me underway, and I think if his deck had a couple more, uh, he would have been able to keep me under wraps a little longer. So, there's always that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And make sure to check out the other videos as well. Uh, the other one was definitely a lot of potential. So, I'm rambling. I don't even know if you guys understand what I'm talking about anymore. Because my brain is going 360 in all over directions. Um, I'll finish this off here by saying thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to continue checking out all the videos on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we look over, I believe I'm going to re-look over Noivern Break. But make sure to check out Monday for which deck I do look over, and I'll see you guys then. But until then, time out.